Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, that means it's time for mail call. I had a little minor surgery this week, um, so I have my son Micah here. He's going to be helping me out opening some packages. So Micah, what do we got up first? Like some boxes maybe okay so this is from Gary Wickwire and this is a flat envelope I love flat envelopes because that means one thing and it's one of my favorite parts of collecting matchbox and that is the boxes oh. packages are reinforced here with some cardboard So we've got a Matchbox Series number 43 um, pony trailer. Um, I have, I bought a couple of boxes from this seller. Um, he always sends them really nice and they're always in these um, little uh, little cases. As you can see, this one's got some, some condition issues. Uh, it's missing the end flap here. We've got a tear across the top. Uh, the reason I grabbed this one was I have about four or five of these things now. I have almost every variation that Matchbox made. And uh, I don't, I, I think I maybe have one box. Um, but this box looked like it had a lot of condition issues that I have tackled on the channel. Um, restoring artwork that's been torn, um, replacing that end flap. So I thought this one would make a good video, so I wanted to grab it. Um, so watch for that in a, a future uh, restoration video. Up next, we've got a box from Thomas Page. Michael, what do we got in that box? It's like a king size with a box. All right. So this is, wow, that's really packaged well. That's in like a nice hard plastic. Um, so this is one I'm really excited about. I, um, I've been getting into, as I've completed some of my regular series stuff, I've been trying to uh, pick up a few of these other, these extra packs or the expansions. And um, this is one that I didn't have yet. And this box, uh, I watched it for a couple weeks. Um, the original sale price of it was way, way too high, um, especially for the condition it's in. Um, it is missing an end flap on this side, um, but it had the other one, so I knew that I could get a decent scan on it and I could make that repair. Um, it's also missing the model. So I'm currently on the hunt for one of these articulated freight trucks. Um, but the rest of the box seemed like it was in really, really good condition. Um, and again, you know, the, the issues it had, that's all stuff that I know how to do and stuff I've tackled on the channel. So um, this will make a good future restoration. Up next, got an envelope from... Donato Ramirez. I believe I purchased from him before as well. Want to unwrap that one? Sure. All right. So we've got a uh, matchbox number 30. Eight wheel crane. Um, this one was uh, free shipping. <laughs> Sometimes that's all it takes for me to buy a model. Um, you know, if I know, you know, something like this, I would normally pay probably three to five dollars for. Um, and it is in really good good shape. You can see there's no uh, no high surface wear on it. Um, there's a few little, there's kind of a little pinhole on the corner there. Um, there's one little spot on the side of the crane there. Um, but overall, it's in a really, 
pretty decent shape. Um, the only thing it's missing is that hook. And I actually have uh, several spare hooks. Um, the And this was a yellow. The yellow ones have not been hard to find, but the red ones, um, all the suppliers seem to be running out of them lately. So uh, this one, I already knew I had the hook um, that I could replace that on this. Uh, the wheels, the tires, all the rest of this look like they are in remarkable shape. So um, I think I paid $8 for this with free shipping. Um, so you know, normally it's going to cost three, four bucks to ship something. So $4 for this model. Um, and that kind of fits my three to five bucks for uh, a decent um, standard wheel type model. So happy to have that one. Up next, this is from Essex from the UK. You can see the customs declaration, it's die cast. I'm sure uh, some of my, my viewers across the pond probably feel like they're poaching their, uh, their options, but for a lot of these harder to find models, um, I've got to look at the UK suppliers because they just don't have them. I can't find them in the States. Um, so this is one, uh, I'm actually getting, I'm in the middle of shooting the video on, on these models right now. Uh, so this one should be coming up in the next week or two. Um, this is the, uh, I think it's a Bedford. It's the evening news van. Um, and I've been putting together slowly uh, copies of all of these models. Um, and this is one I didn't have because it's got the plastic wheels on it. Um, it's missing the top part, which is the reason that I got such a good deal on, on this model. But the decals are all perfect. Um, everything's intact, and uh, I didn't have a gray plastic wheel yet. So um, getting ready to shoot these. Uh, as I said, one is going to be a preservation, just going to do some touch-ups. And uh, one's going to be a full restoration where we strip it down. Um, I've got a replacement uh, casting piece for the top so we can fix the top. And uh, that'll be ready to go. So watch for that uh, in the next couple weeks. Um, and happy to complete the last variation that I didn't have, which was the gray plastic wheels. So happy to get that one. Up next, this is also a foreign one. This is, uh, let's see, is this UK? Yes, PEI. Um, Okay, so a few of you might remember in a mailbag, or no, it wasn't a mail call. It was a, it was a collection that I purchased um, a few weeks back. I uh, drove out and met a guy um, that had a listing on Facebook and had a whole bunch of early Matchbox Lesney models. And when I took apart one of the models, I actually found an original um, cover or a hatch for the uh, the topper for the back of the pickup truck um, and it was great it was an original piece it was in excellent condition I was so excited about it but I've never had a Ford truck to put it on um, it, these things they do come up they had the uh, steer function on the uh, the front wheels um, and for some reason this is one of the more desirable models it seems like every time these come up on YouTube, I find them at just ridiculous prices. Um, and I was able to pick this one up. I think I paid $6 for this one. Um, and so that's a, a bargain for trying to find one of these. And the only thing really that was wrong with it is the paint was a little scuffed up and it's missing that topper, which I already had. Um, so I've been looking for one of these that might be a good restoration candidate. And it seems like all of the ones that I found that were really rough that I would consider restoring 
this front grill was just absolutely toast. It was broken or busted or missing a piece. Um, I think there were a couple different variants of these. Some had a uh, silver grill and then some had the white plastic grill. Um, and so when I found this model and that grill piece was all original and intact, I decided that was, was worth it and that was what I was gonna pick up. So this was a really long, hard hunt to find a good restoration candidate in this model. Um, but I finally found this and got it at a decent price. So i um, excited for that one. That may be, um, I've got a whole list of upcoming restorations and uh, always seem to have more projects piling up than what I actually get to. But um, I think this is definitely one that I'm gonna tackle in the next couple weeks and uh, see if I can get that all put back because I'm just, I'm excited about that one. So great find, happy to have it. And last but not least, got a box from Australia. Plastic miniature barrels. So I think most of my viewers, um, anybody who's into the die cast and the restorations is probably familiar with uh, Marty and Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. Um, he was hugely influential in getting me started restoring cars. Um, I still love watching his channel. And uh, as some of you know, I started some restorations on the uh, John Deere tractors and the trailers a, a few weeks back. Um, and I posted a video that had all of the um, box restorations in it. And I mentioned that I was still on the hunt for some parts and some pieces. And uh, a couple of those pieces were the steering wheels, um, both the black and the yellow, because I've got some John Deere's and I've got some Ford tractors as well. And then also the, the little barrels that go with the, um, the trailers. Uh, I've got a few of them in my set, but it seems like every time I've got uh, one of those trailers, um, and if I've got one, I've, I've got a half a dozen of them, but none of them had the barrels with them. And Marty, uh, for one of his restoration videos, he actually 3D printed and modeled a set of the barrels and a set of steering wheels. And he mentioned in his video, he said, hey, you know, if anybody's working on these or would like the files for these or would like some copies of them, um, send me a message. And so I did. I reached out to Marty. I said, hey, I'm in the middle of this. I need some barrels and I need some um, steering wheels. If, uh, if you're willing to send me some, let me know what, uh, what the price is for shipping and for, uh, for the sets. And um, I'd love to get some from you. And so he emailed me back and said, what's your address? I figured, you know, that was so he could calculate shipping. And then I never heard from him again. And then all of a sudden one day, this box showed up with all of these barrels, all the steering wheels, more than enough for me to complete my uh, restorations. Um, and he didn't ask me for a dime. And that's just, you know, I think indicative of his character. Um, he's a great guy. I, I love following his channel. Um, and I'm so appreciative of him helping me out on these. So this is really kind of the last piece I was waiting on to be able to finish all of my John Deere tractors and trailers. Um, and so huge, huge thanks to, uh, to Marty with Marty's Matchbox. Um, and now that I've got these, uh, that's one of my um, sort of in process restorations right now. I've got everything apart and uh, getting ready to start painting. So, um, super excited to have this one. And, you know, I, I do wanna give just a shout out to a couple of the other guys um, that I've followed, uh, Bare Metal Matchbox, a great channel, a lot of my process I've adopted directly from him. Um, also wanna shout out to uh, Time Rider. Uh, Lee has been a good friend, uh, he's given me some great uh, constructive criticism and feedback on the channel. I really love watching his stuff. Um, he goes into the kind of detail and depth that I like to. I know some of my videos tend to 
go on a little bit longer than the other ones, um, the other restoration channels that are out there. But, um, you know, I think Lee does a great job. And I love his personality and I love his character that comes out in the videos. And um, so all these guys, they've been really helpful in, uh, in giving me advice and helping me get started. And I think most of the Matchbox communities like that. Um, so huge shout out again to Marty. I, I appreciate this so much. I'm so thankful uh, for these parts and pieces so that I can finish uh, my restoration. So watch for that um, in, uh, in an upcoming video. That's going to do it for our mail call this week. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like down below. Uh, comment. I love hearing comments and uh, feedback from my viewers. Want to know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what you enjoyed. And uh, as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button. That'll keep you uh, in the loop with all of our future uh, videos, everything that drops. Um, so thanks so much for joining us this week for a mail call. And don't forget to tune in next week when we do another Vintage Diecast Restoration.